Hello and welcome back to part two of Let's Play Inside. I left this last time with the exciting... Um, there's a safe. It's probably going to fall open when I drop it. There might be something cool inside it. Wait, hang on. Yep, I, uh, I saw all of that too slowly. That's the equivalent of when a bad guy gets wrapped up in rope and hangs himself by accident. So let's push that off and then immediately run backwards. That's a better way, isn't it? Now we'll just, we'll take the slow route right down. Uh, so if you didn't see, oh, he survived. If you didn't watch last time, this character is Billy um, and he's in a real shit situation. He's just trying to make his way in the world, apparently. Or at least that's the way as, as, it, way as I see it. This yellow, uh, it's yellow white. Oh, that looks like that looks like a doomsday device from Futurama. And I broke it, and I got an achievement called Left Behind. Okay, that might have just been a collectible and nothing to do with. Oh, we're in a subway. Um, the train tracks. We've got this, which I have to use immediately. <gasps> It's going to release a swarm of people, isn't it? No, it didn't do anything. Oh, no, I can I can see in the background. Um, so this helmet allows me to control these uh, husk-like creatures. Intriguing. Okay. Let's just let's get out of that. What's going on back here? It's very dark. I can't see. Okay. And then there's that light up there, which I feel like that's the key, that that, that thing, the, the yellow and the, the white. Oh, hello. There's a platform. Need to make them both stand on it. Okay. And to do that, they need to be a certain distance apart. So currently they're now the maximum distance. That's not good enough. I don't know what's... Mm. Oh, yeah, this is obvious. I need to close the door. Yep. I, I mean, I, it, was, it was staring me right in the face. I was thinking, I don't know what's beyond that door. But I, I do know there's a door there. Alright. This isn't going to be super easy. So I need to... In fact, it's worked out exactly, so it's actually very easy. <laughs> I don't know I thought they were going to make that really hard. I'm too I'm too used to like sort of tricking my way through those puzzles. Stay on the train tracks for as little time as possible. That's, that's always worthy advice, isn't it? Billy can move. Um, that is a very fast place for climbing a ladder. I don't know if you've ever climbed a ladder, but that is fast. Particularly that kind of ladder. Like straight up, straight up's harder. If it's at a slight angle, you can. You know, gravity helps you a bit. Right, we're fully in a city. There's the remains of a sign here. Assuming that R was the first letter of the sign and the last letter is C, this can only be a building controlled by the RAC. Which, if you're American, is sort of the English equivalent of uh, AAA, I think. The great joke being that the AA for you is Alcoholics Anonymous, and everyone always confuses with, with AAA, which is like for for you know drivers and shit. But in England, the AA is also that, so the the joke does and doesn't work on both levels. I can climb this. It's gonna fall, isn't it? No, I thought I thought it would break. I do like climbing on rooftops. Um, it's the best part of most slightly open-ish games, isn't it? Oh, oh. Don't stop there, lad. Now you're safe-ish. There's an old fridge there, I want it. There's a very sort of 50s era vibe, isn't it? This has got, I feel like this is what was what life was like behind the Iron Curtain for most. Particularly the drudging in straight lines. Why are there two lines? Why are they per uh, non non parallel? It's gonna say perpendicular, but that doesn't mean non parallel. Can I just can I go and join them? Can I can I go and do the worm? 
he's strong, isn't he? He's he's ripping them boards off. Yeah, you can get through that. You don't need to do any more. Alright. He's easy now. Easy. Let's not go up there yet. That can be future excitement. Okay, now let's go up there. Now that I've confirmed there was nothing there. So what we're going to do is we're going to climb up and we're going to do something that is very not safe for work, aren't we? We're going to lean. Oh no, it's just jumping. No, I think I was right. I think I need to climb up this ladder. I want to lean, like lean out from the top and make it like wait the other way, but that's, that's not an option. Alright, let's... Can I just push it? I can. That's what I actually tried to do a minute ago, but it kind of didn't let me. And then my, my initial idea was to, to, to do it in the air in a... In, I want to say, a Buster Keaton style. That looks like an angry sentry robot back there. That I'm about to, to... Oh. No, it was a torch. Why did I turn that on? Was this one of those situations where you, you shouldn't have turned it on? I bet, it, I bet it activated this elevator as well. And he's dead. Sorry, Billy. Okay, so let's let's now find out if I if I was ever meant to turn that on. Because I don't think I was. Or ah, I know what it is. You do need to turn it on to get the elevator going, but you don't need to turn it on to lift the door up. That's one of those classic puzzles that you, you can only really do it if you've died once. But you, you're expected to die there. I, I almost wish there was a dark style. Uh, dark style. Nearly ran straight into it. Yeah, I kind of expected like a, a Dark Souls style like FU of a thing to come up. Like, well, welcome to the real Dark Souls, bitch. I nearly didn't push the button there because I forgot I had to. And there was a very real chance it would have just shot me in the elevator with its. It's like a weird taser, like a very, very low rent taser. If it can hold a seagull, it can hold Billy. That's my thinking. Oh, I was, I was right. It can. Oh shit! All right, walk without rhythm. You won't attract the worm. He's a smart one. Put your head down, Billy. Uh, I've now discovered that... Oh, shit. I wasn't paying attention. If I don't... I, I can control his walking speed with the, uh, with the analog stick. There we go. Nice, can't see. Shit. God, there's a jump test coming up. These people are a lot better dressed than, than the last weirdos. And those ones wearing masks. Oh, I fucking nailed that timing. Which is good, because I'm crap at timing. Wait, 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 stop. That one's clearly not a slave. He's wearing a different shirt to the rest. Easy now. Easy now. I'm, I'm hoping when I fuck this up, not if, when, I don't have to repeat all of this section. Alright, I've just got to turn back this time. I was, I was a bit slow on the uptake there, but I think I got it. Oh yeah, that was so on time. God, that felt good. Uh, every now and again, the, the others sort of twitch. I'd like to have a button that allows me to do that. It's... All right, am I still? I think I could probably just run away from it now. But I mean, I, I can't see what's, oh, there's a dog. I know what's gonna happen now. 
the dog's just gonna know that I'm not one of them and I have to leg it. Just cheese it. Cheese it. Keep cheesing it. Oh god, into the grass. Shit! Alright, that's um window inspector. Shit. Played this game before. I know how this goes. Come at me. Alright. The only trouble is, I don't really know what's going to happen up here. Have I gained enough of a loot? I think I'm safe. I think I'm safe. I've, got, I've actually got loads of time. Alright. I wish I could control that crowd from before and just have them come up here and not kill the dog, but pacify the dog in a way that won't hurt the dog. Now, I don't fully know how to disconnect uh, from this helmet. Uh, let's, let's stay on it for a minute. It might be handy. Alright, that's good. Alright, yeah, I have to... You have to hold down and then press a button. It's not it's not super easy to do by accident. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. I did everything right, but I needed to be over this box so that I can reattach to it. Oh, I hope that's not too far over the edge. They wouldn't do that, would they? I can see why this won a BAFTA. This, not only is this game excellent, but this, this is the sort of game... There's no real mechanics involved to play it. It's Everything is immediately clear. There, was, there wasn't even a tutorial. It feels like the ideal game to uh, to play like around people who don't really play games. You can just walk in and you know what's going on. And there's enough of a non-story that even if you don't really know what's going on, it doesn't matter. I don't know what I'm doing right now. <gasps> I know what I'm doing. I think. We're going to go a level deeper. We're going to go Inception style. I've just realised that... Well, I thought that was a big buzzsaw in the background down there. Um, it attaches to the platform that I nearly dropped down onto. It's actually a big staircase. So that's really cool. Now, let's Incept one level deeper. <gasps> He's in a box. He's <laughs> living in a cardboard box. All right. Okay, so let's... Wait, what do I want to do? Couldn't put that in the worst place. So why did I need to incept to be able to do this? Cause, oh, all right. Oh, it's an old swimming pool. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's why I had to be over. Yeah. All right, I know what to do. It's, it's not going to be tiring or rigorous in any way. It is going to be annoying. Uh, yeah, I just had to be on the other side to climb up. I was I was too lazy. Oh yeah. I thought maybe I could just have one of them take the helmet off, but you can't. All right, come on, glorp. He feels like a glorp, doesn't he? If that, if this weird lump of a man had a name, it'd be glorp. Oh yeah, quick summary of last episode. We pulled a big worm out of a pig's anus. I believe the pig was unharmed, though somewhat shocked. Okay. Let's just pull that nice and centrally. Hmm. See, it's a bit too early to end the episode. But at the same time, this would be a great point to end an episode when there were a big looming hole. But let's just drop into the hole. I mean, that couldn't have been better timed, could it? I landed right on the lip, seconds from life, and then I got crushed at the end as well. So let's let's give ourselves plenty of room this time. I don't know why, but I, j I just thought when, when Glorp was on this, he'd kind of like stay on it. I had no reason to think that. Ah, we're back in the water. This is a sort of a flooded factory, so I'm seeing, or, or some 
nondescript industrial zone. Okay, I can't swim up there. That's fine. So, you, obviously, I'm going to check the right. Then I'm going to check the left. And then I'm going to swim deeper. Because you know, that's just the same way to do it. You don't swim deeper unless you have to. I'm seeing an air conditioner. No, there's nothing here, is there? All right, we have to go deeper, son. Billy, have you ever been to a Roman shower? Okay, I know what to do. There's a red handle. I'm going to pull it. I don't think it'll actually do anything. It just appears to be connected to a pallet, but can't hurt, can it? Use your muscles, Billy. You're a strong man. Billy, have you ever seen a grown man naked? Uh, yeah, I'm thinking there might be more than one of these down there. Or uh, maybe I can swim alongside it and push. <gasps> VHS tapes! VHS stands for Video Home System. And they were terrible. The quality was bad. They were big. They were expensive. Thank God we don't have to deal with that anymore. And we've got DVDs and Blu-ray. Alright, yep, yeah, okay. Move the platform. I don't know that pallets actually actually float. I've never considered that. I've I've worked with pallets a lot in my life. I've shifted them. I've lifted them. I've burned more than a few, which you're not supposed to do. I've never never chucked one in the river. I've ne I've, I've never seen that. Do pallets? I mean, they must. They're made of wood. Wood floats, doesn't it? Mostly, sometimes. And how does a wooden boat sink? Ah, there's no better way to end the episode than with a big red button. But it's still not time, so let's push the button. <gasps> We've drained the swamp. It's nice. Yeah, there's an old bicycle, another button. Now, presumably, yeah, as I suspected. No idea where that water's coming from. Uh, how high does this go? Not high enough. So I need some kind of... Fit. I can't redrain this. So I, ideally I'll be able to get out now or else I'll drown. It's a hatch. Yeah, you, yeah, stand on the hatch to open it, Billy. You're a smart one. Fucking idiot, kid. Oh, it opens that way. I actually ran in there by accident. But the great joke is that, that now... Oh, no, this is kind of a puzzle, isn't it? So... So really, I should I should wait. Can I get back that way? No. So I, I need to position something in this now drained room that will, will rise up and be a platform for me to stand on. Maybe I don't know. Uh, I don't think I can make it to that door before it before it closes. No, I'm pretty sure you can't. So we've gone in a circle, and we've learned very little so far. Can I just grab one of those barrels from back there? Maybe maybe there's something more up here. Nope. Right, let's, uh, let's loop around again. Each loop I learned something new. Why is the bucket, the button, <laughs> bucket? Why is the button in the middle of the room? There's like seats and stuff. What if I rode the bike? Would that help? No. And that door closes and I flood it. Isn't it? It does. Does anything happen down here? No. Can I push this button again? Well, I'm drowning, so let's sort that out first. I assume it's drowning is what happen happens when you're down for a little while the controller starts to vibrate. I can drain it from out here. Which means, yeah, okay, I know what to do now. I just have to raise it. Stay here. Well, here-ish. Swim down, drain it, swim diagonal top right and I'll be fine. I think I'll be fine. Alright, let's do this right. Make it. Make it. Don't drown. Good. Open. Perfect. 
And uh, this this dark room will be the, the end of today's episode. Join me next time for this dark room. Thanks for watching.